Red yeast rice, simplified Chinese, Hong Ku Mi traditional Chinese, Hong Ku Mi pinyin, Hong Ku Mi, literally, red yeast rice, red rice koji, benakoji lit, red koji, red fermented rice, red kojic rice, red koji rice, anka, or ang kak, is a bright reddish purple fermented rice, which acquires its color from being cultivated with the mold Monascus purpureus. Red yeast rice is what is referred to as a koji in Japanese, meaning grain or bean overgrown with a mold culture, a food preparation tradition going back to ca. 300 BC. In both the scientific and popular literature in English that draws principally on Japanese, red yeast rice is most often referred to as red rice koji. English works favoring Chinese sources may prefer the translation red yeast rice. Because of the low cost of chemical dyes, some producers of red yeast rice have adulterated their products with the poisonous dye Sudan Red G. Production Red yeast rice is produced by cultivating the yeast strain Monascus purpureus on rice. The rice is first soaked in water until the grains are fully saturated. The raw soaked rice can then either be directly inoculated or it can be steamed for the purpose of sterilizing and cooking the grains prior to inoculation. Inoculation is done by mixing either am purpureus spores or powdered red yeast rice together with the rice that is being treated. The mix is then incubated in an environment around room temperature for three to six days. During this period of time, the rice should be fully cultured with M. purpureus, with each rice grain turning bright red in its core and reddish purple on the outside. The fully cultured rice is then either sold as the dried grain, or cooked and pasteurized to be sold as a wet paste, or dried and pulverized to be sold as a fine powder. China is the world's largest producer of red yeast rice. Uses Culinary Red yeast rice is used to color a wide variety of food products, including pickled tofu, red rice vinegar, char shao, peking duck, and Chinese pastries that require red food coloring. It is also traditionally used in the production of several types of Chinese wangjiu, shaoxing ju, and Japanese sake, akaisaki, imparting a reddish color to these wines. Although used mainly for its color in cuisine, red yeast rice imparts a subtle but pleasant taste to food and is commonly used in the cuisine of Fujian province of China. Traditional Chinese medicine In addition to its culinary use, red yeast rice is also used in Chinese herbology and traditional Chinese medicine. Its use has been documented as far back as the Tang dynasty in China in 800 AD. It is taken internally to invigorate the body, aid in digestion, and revitalize the blood. A more complete description is in the traditional Chinese pharmacopoeia, Ben Sao Gang Mu Dan Shi Bu Yi, from the Ming Dynasty 1378-1644. Red yeast rice and drugs In the late 1970s, researchers in the United States and Japan were isolating lovastatin from aspergillus and monocolins from monascus, respectively, the latter being the same fungus used to make red yeast rice but cultured under carefully controlled conditions. Chemical analysis soon showed that lobostatin and monocolin K are identical. The article, The Origin of Satins, summarizes how the two isolations, documentations and patent applications were just months apart. Lobostatin became the patented, prescription drug Mevacor for Merck & Co. Red yeast rice went on to become a contentious non-prescription dietary supplement in the United States and other countries. Lobostatin and other prescription, statin drugs inhibit cholesterol synthesis by blocking action of the enzyme HMG-CoA reductase. As a consequence, circulating total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol are lowered. In a meta-analysis of 91 randomized clinical trials of 12 weeks duration, totaling 68,485 participants, LDL cholesterol was lowered by 24 to 49 percent depending on the statin. Different strains of monascus fungus will produce different amounts of monocolins. The went strain of monascus purpureus, purpureus equals dark red in Latin, when properly fermented and processed, will yield a dried red yeast rice powder that is approximately 0.4% monocolins, of which roughly half will be monocolin K, identical to lobostatin. Monocolin content of a red yeast rice product is described in a 2008 clinical trial report. 
Regulatory restrictions The Food and Drug Administration FDA, position is that red yeast rice products that contain monocolon K, i.e., lobostatin, are identical to a drug and, thus, subject to regulation as a drug. In 1998, the FDA initiated action to ban a product, cholestin, containing red yeast rice extract. The U.S. District Court in Utah allowed the product to be sold without restriction. This decision was reversed on appeal to the U.S. Court of Appeals, Moore, 2001, see further reading, PDR Health. Thereafter, the FDA sent warning letters to companies selling red yeast rice. The product disappeared from the market for a few years. In 2003, red yeast rice products began to reappear in the U.S. market. In 2007, the FDA sent warning letters to two dietary supplement companies. One was making a monocolon content claim about its RYR product and the other was not, but the FDA noted that both products contained monocolons. Both products were withdrawn. The FDA also issued a warning press release. The crux of the release was that consumers should not buy or eat red yeast rice products, may contain an unauthorized drug that could be harmful to health. The rationale for harmful to health was that consumers might not understand that the dangers of monocolon containing red yeast rice might be the same as those of prescription statin drugs. In 2008, 2014, and 2018, ConsumerLab.com published laboratory tests of red yeast rice supplements purchased from U.S. retailers, most recently stating the suggested daily servings of only two products provided the amount of lobostatin compounds shown to lower cholesterol levels, the ConsumerLab.com reports include results by brand. A 2017 study from the European Journal of Preventive Cardiology EJPC, tested 28 brands of red yeast rice supplements purchased from U.S. retailers, stating, the quantity of monocolon K varied from none to prescription strength. This European study did not list the individual brands, but only the results. As of 2016, there are at least 30 brands available. Many of these avoid the FDA restriction by not having any appreciable monocolon content. Their labels and websites say no more than fermented according to traditional Asian methods or similar to that used in culinary applications. The labeling on these products often says nothing about cholesterol. If they do not contain lobostatin, do not claim to contain lobostatin, and do not make a claim to lower cholesterol, they are not subject to FDA action. Two reviews confirm that the monocolon content of red yeast rice dietary supplements can vary over a wide range, with some containing negligible monocolons. Clinical evidence the amount typically used in clinical trials is 1,200 to 2,400 mg per day of red yeast rice containing approximately 10 mg total monocolons, of which half are monocolon K. This does raise a question about the function of the other monocolons and non-monocolon compounds in the products, as the monocolon K content is lower than what is usually considered effective for lobostatin, 20 to 80 mg per day. A meta-analysis of 20 clinical trials, range of red yeast rice dose 1200 to 4800 mg per day, reported LDL cholesterol lowered by 1.02 mmol, L, 39.4 mg per deciliter compared to placebo. The incidence of reported adverse effects ranged from 0% to 5% and was not different from controls. Within this review, the largest and longest duration trial was conducted in China, the China Coronary Secondary Prevention Study, CCSPS. Close to 5,000 post-heart attack patients were enrolled for an average of 4.5 years to receive either a placebo or a RYR product named Zhuzhikong. Shui Ji. The test product was an ethanol extract of red yeast rice, with a monocolon K content of 11.6 mg per day. Key CCSPS results, in the treated group, risk of subsequent heart attacks was reduced by 45%, cardio deaths by 31%, and all-cause deaths by 33%. The CCSPS heart attack and cardiovascular death outcomes appear to be better than what has been reported for prescription statin drugs. A 2008 review pointed out that the cardioprotective effects of satins in Japanese populations occur at lower doses than are needed in Western populations, and theorized that the low amount of monocolons found in Zhuzhikong might have been more effectively a theroprotective than expected in the Chinese population in the CCSPS study for the same reason. Safety 
The safety of red yeast rice products has not been established, and some commercial supplements have been found to contain high levels of the toxin citronin. As commercial products will have highly variable amounts of monocolons, and rarely declare this content on the label, defining risk is difficult. Ingredient suppliers have also been suspected of spiking red yeast rice preparations with purified lobostatin. As evidence, one published analysis reported several commercial products as being almost entirely monocolon K, which would occur if the drug lobostatin was added, rather than the expected composition of many monocolon compounds. Statin drugs are known to cause muscle and liver damage. Statin-associated rhabdomyolysis can lead to kidney damage and possibly kidney failure, renal failure. This is why they are prescription drugs rather than over-the-counter, and with recommendations that the patient's physicians schedule liver function tests on a regular basis. There are reports in the literature of muscle myopathy and liver damage resulting from red yeast rice usage. In 2009 Becker et al. reported on a U.S. trial that enrolled 62 patients with known statin-associated myalgias. Half got a RYR product, 3,600 mg per day, 13 mg monocolons, 6 mg monocolon K, for 24 weeks, and half were administered a placebo. In the treated group, LDL cholesterol declined 21%. Two patients dropped out because of myalgia, one for diarrhea, and one for dizziness. In the placebo group, one dropped out for myalgia. Creatine phosphokinase increased slightly in the treated group, from 122 to 128 U, L, versus decreasing with placebo, 117 to 101 U, L, but the shifts were not statistically significant. For those having completed the trial, subjective muscle pain scores were similar for the two groups. The potential safety signals of myopathies and liver injury raise the hypothesis that the safety profile of RYR is similar to that of statins. Continuous monitoring of dietary supplements should be promoted to finally characterize their risk profile, thus supporting regulatory bodies for appropriate actions. Red yeast is likely unsafe during pregnancy. It has caused birth defects in animals, and there is not enough information about the safety of using red yeast during breastfeeding. See also References Further reading Medicine Net. Red Yeast Rice. Retrieved February 12, 2006. Moore, U.S. FDA, May 5, 2001. Untitled Correspondence. PDF. Retrieved February 12, 2006. PDR Health. Red Yeast Rice. Archived from the original on November 25, 2005. Retrieved February 12, 2006. Medline Plus. Red Yeast Rice, Manascus purpureus. Retrieved March 28, 2006. Richard N. Rogoros, M.D. Non-prescription cholesterol lowering. Retrieved August 19, 2006. Dennis Lee, M.D. Red yeast rice and cholesterol, a critical review. Retrieved August 19, 2006. FDA, August 9, 2007. FDA warns consumers to avoid red yeast rice products promoted on Internet as treatments for high cholesterol. Archived from the original on January 11, 2017. External links Website about medicinal use of Manascus purpureus Medicinal use of red yeast rice Fermentiertes Rotes Raismal, in German.